Let's look at how to take designs created in the standard Tinkercad 3D editor or in the Codeblocks version and get them to a Cricut plotting cutter to create stickers, cards, t-shirts, and more. First, you want to export your Tinkercad design as a scalable vector graphic, that is, an SVG. Keep in mind that only things that are in contact with the work plane will export. Then, in the Cricut design space, you'll start a new project and then upload the SVG file. To make a sticker, I would select Draw with a pen. Then I would increase this perimeter offset setting a little bit. This will create a border around the design. I also want to double check that the design is set to draw and that the border that I just created is set to cut. Now when I fabricate this on sticker sheets, it will create stickers that have a border. I want to be sure to select both elements and click Attach so the machine knows that they are to be created together. When I press Make It, Cricut will remind me to put in the appropriate tools in the A or B holders, and I just need to double check that I have the material setting correct. If I want to make the design in heat transfer or regular vinyl, I would just set it to cut rather than draw and size it appropriately. Make sure to put the correct side of the heat transfer vinyl down on your cutting mat following the manufacturer's directions and set your machine to iron on vinyl. If I want to make this as a card, first I'm going to size the card Then I'll add a score line. I'll select both and align them to the center. Then I'll duplicate both Make the copy just a quarter of a millimeter shorter so this liner piece won't stick out. Then realign the score line to the new center. Next I'll upload and select and insert my design. I can size it, rotate it, and position it on the slightly longer card. On the right hand panel, I'll double check that the elements are set to cut or score as needed. Now if I click Attach, notice the perimeter of the design. It will actually just cut out of the card altogether. To prevent this, I'll click the Contour button, then turn off the Outer Contour. Just be sure to select elements that belong together and click Attach. When you click the Make It button, You'll want to cut the pieces on different colored paper, so click the three dots and then hide one element at a time so you can cut them separately. Be sure to have your scoring tool inserted and the correct paper size selected. There's a lot more you can do with a Cricut and Tinkercad, but I hope this helps as a starting point.